In today's video, we're going to be learning how to make a self-contained clean finish four strand core for making paracord braces. What's going on guys? Tim here again. So as I just mentioned, this is just kind of like a, another placeholder tutorial for a, um, a four strand core that we can use in a lot of different paracord bracelet uh, patterns. So it's just a double cow's hitch self-contained core. Now this idea was not mine. It came from um, either a viewer or a subscriber. I don't remember who messaged me um, about this. Um, it's a very great idea and I want to credit you. So can you please DM me uh, wherever you did about this idea um, so I can put your uh, you know credits in the description. But anyways, it's four strand core, double cow's hitch, and we have our two end strands coming out this way. So um, that's really cool because before for a four strand core, I used to use two single double cow hitch things and you know, you have the melted join in the middle and it wouldn't look that great. So this is a great idea if you're doing a four strand core bracelet and you just want um, to have like a different weaving color on the core and you don't necessarily need to continue with the core strands. I hope that made sense. Anyhow, uh, remember guys, if you're looking for paracord, uh, check out my affiliate links down below. And also a huge thank you to my Patreon patrons, as always, for supporting this channel. If you want ex uh, access to exclusive giveaways and uh, tutorials, you can check out uh, my Patreon feed. Okay, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this uh, contained clean finish four strand core, I've got my buckle. I'm using an oversized buckle just so it's a lot clearer what I'm doing. And I've got about three feet of paracord. That should be enough for most bracelet sizes, but you can up that if you want. So here's how we're going to start. I've got my piece of paracord. I've got it doubled over. This is the midpoint. So we're just going to bend that through and do a single cow's hitch. Okay, like so. So that's one on this side. Now you can give yourself a little bit more cord on this side. Just pull that out and yank a little bit more onto that right side because now we're going to do the, the cow stitch on this side. So now I'm going to take the strand on the right and then I'm going to put it through the top and bring it towards you like so. Okay, so go over this strand. Okay, so I'm going to pull that like so. There's one, and now we're going to do the same thing with the, um, the same cord. We're going to go through the back of the buckle again, bring it to the front, and this time go through the loop on the front, like so. Okay, and that's going to form the second cow stitch. Okay, so at this point, make sure both cords are even on the other side. I'm just going to even that out. And then we're going to do the other side. Next, we're going to take our cords, go to the other end, and grab the other end of our buckle. And here's what we'll do. So let's start with the strand on the right. So I'm going to put the cord through the front of the buckle or the top. I'm going to bring that through. And then you're going to take this cord. You're going to go on the outside on the right and bend it over like so. And then you're going to take this and bring it through the back and then go underneath and form the cow's hitch like so. Okay. So that is on one side like that. And this is where you would um, plan the length of your core of your bracelet. Okay. So ensure that that's a correct length. And then now on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to put it through the top. Okay. Pull that through. I'm going to make these even, of course. And then you're going to go come on the outside, bring it over. Like so, and then take that and go through the back of the bracelet or back of the buckle and then bring it through. Okay. So I did the exact same thing on this side, just a little, just mirrored. 
Okay, so at this point, even up those uh, strands, make sure all the strands are even. So ensure that your core strands are the correct length you need them to be. So now once you've got your length correct, we're gonna take a FID. You can use hemostats if you don't have a FID. So just put, to get your FID on there. And if you go back to the top, you'll see we have this little loop here. We're just gonna feed our paracord through that loop going through the front. Okay, so that's one. I'll show you with the hemostats. You can just poke your hemostats through here. Grab that and pull it through. Okay. All right, so you can see we have our four strands now. And all we have to do from here is snip and melt. Okay, and there we have it, a nice, clean, self-contained four-strand core, and the melt is fine on the back there. Just uh, be wary of when you're clipping the uh, paracord. You don't want to cut it too short, because if the cords slip past in, you're going to have to you know, get them through there again. And don't cut it too long either, because uh, if you cut it too long and you melt it, the, there'll be too much length in the middle, and um, it'll be a little loose. Okay, so there we go, guys. Nice and short, just a uh, nice little utilitarian tutorial for a uh, four strand core and i hope you guys enjoyed this one so remember if you like this video feel free to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed already feel free to subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell icon because um even if you are subscribed uh, you may not necessarily see my video in your uh, subscription feed unless you turn on that bell notification all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video